back to my channel this video has been the most highly requested video ever since i came back here on youtube i think that for every single video that i've uploaded here on this channel someone is in the comment section asking for a room tour and aside from that i've gotten messages on snapchat dms emails from people just asking me to do this at first i didn't want to but then i got i started getting like very specific requests especially for people like young people who are moving to lagos and they're looking to buy furniture on a budget and they just want to know how i got some of the things that i have so i was like okay i'm going to film this video because it's going to be of help to some people who really need it so um i'm going to try as much as possible to kind of be like very 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 detailed with the way that i explain like where i got what who did what at first i actually thought that i was going to be able to buy furniture but by the time that i went to one or two or three of these furniture stores here in lagos i just like ran back home and i had to look for a plan b and furniture is freaking expensive especially with a lot of people that sell furniture so i had to go back and just figure out what to do and i realized that carpenters were the like best route to take they are very very affordable and then they make things to your request they customize it to your specifications everything they just like make things the way that you want them and they're a lot cheaper and they're very very affordable and nigerian carpenters are actually really good i don't know people some people might not know this but they're actually really good the only thing is that you can't get things from them instantly you're going to have to wait a while so this space this house where i'm at right now i feel like it's one of the biggest achievements of my adult life i've been working towards it for a very very long time i've actually been planning to move to this place like to get this space since as far back as of 2013 around the time i was moving out of lagos in 2013 around the time that i finished my youth service i had concluded at the time that i was going to move back but then i wanted to move back under certain conditions because i know how it was the first time around for me so i've been working towards that i saved up like i wanted this to just meet like the picture i wanted it to just be like the picture that i had in my head and i feel like i came really close to executing it the way that i wanted some of the things that i'm going to show you guys in this video i bought as far back as of 2014 that's how long i've been planning for this house and my mom found it really really funny because i would call her and i'll tell her that i found this really cute thing on still even when i was in the uk towards the time that i was moving back so it's just been a long time because my mom found it really funny because she'll be like you're buying all these things do you have a house and i'll be like i'm going to get a house very soon so it's taken me a while and this this space is like my baby i put a lot of love a lot of work into it and another thing that really helped me was the exchange rate. I'm not going to lie. The recession was kind of in my favor around the time that I moved here. And if you know anything about the way that YouTubers earn, you will know that like a big percentage of like the money we earn, it tends to come in in foreign currency with AdSense and whatnot. So I ended up getting a lot more for my savings than I had ever even expected or anticipated. So yeah, that was kind of in my favor. So I'm going to go on ahead and show you guys everything. I am also going to tell you guys what carpenters I'm going to give you guys their names i'm going to give you guys their numbers i have you guys covered i'm going to tell you guys who did what and another thing again that really helped me was that i didn't let go of some of the things that i had acquired while i was living in the uk so like i'll get these vases and then these flowers and stuff that i'll use as props for my blog post pictures i'll go to ikea because there was an ikea in coventry and these things were really cheap and i'll buy them and i use them as backdrops but then around the time that i was moving out i just packed everything inside a bag i didn't let go of anything i just tried to make them work so if they didn't fit into the current space i just kind of repainted them or kind of fixed them up and that's another thing again i actually had to do a lot of diying i actually had to spray paint a lot of things myself i did a lot of painting at a point my neighbors actually thought that i was an artist because every time that they would walk by they would see me spray painting something outside so a lot of them actually thought that i was an artist and they would just walk by and be like oh what are you working on are you an artist and i'm like no i'm just trying to make ends meet so I'm going to show you guys the, the items that I kind of spray painted and the things that I just kind of like touched up to make work. So I'm going to go on ahead and start now. Okay, so this is what my bedroom looks like when you walk in through the door. I have this little table in this corner here. It was made by a carpenter called Paul and it cost me about 8k. Opposite it, I have my bed, which is like my favorite thing in this room, and I have this thing on the floor. But then I'm going to focus on this table for a minute. And this is the place where I put all the things that I normally reach for when I come out of the shower, and my jewelry box as well. And then in this corner here, I have these two vases that I got from either IKEA or HM, I can't remember, but they were really cheap. And then this mirror, these three items I spray painted them copper. The mirror was initially black. My mom wanted to use this for something else, but I actually begged her to give it to me, and she did. And then the vases, they were kind of a weird gold 
but then I changed the color and I think that they look nice now a lot better the bed is the most expensive thing that I have in this room and it cost me about 40k it was made by a carpenter called Dolapo and he really did a good job I think that he nailed this I showed him a picture of something that I wanted and he really really tried as much as possible to make it like bring it to life and I love my bed on the floor i have this little thing here it was given to me by my friend nello years ago and i think she got it from ikea and it cost her about 10 pounds and then i have this like textured rubber carpet that looks like wood i got this from Mojo Eleba and i use it to cover the floors in the two bedrooms because they were bad and on top of my headboard i have these two frames i got from ikea they were really cheap as well and they frame my two favorite quotes proverbs 31 25 and jeremiah 29 11 my two faves and then in this section here, I have my Bible and the book that I'm currently reading with some devotionals and then a candle from Iron Arrow Luxury. And then this lamp that I got from Ikea, it was cheap as well. It was about 10 to 15 pounds. And then I have this wardrobe here. This is my least favorite section in this room. It was brown initially, like the color, like this was the actual color, but I use white contact paper, but I don't like the white contact paper because it doesn't match the rest of the white that I have in my room. But this is my wardrobe. It looks like organized. Like I, I'm not doing too much here, you know, like I just have things like hang, nothing is color coordinated or anything, you know? And then I have my bags up here and then to the left I have my bathroom so this is a mirror here to the left of this room I have my shower and then my toilet seat but I'm not going to show you guys that I'm going to move on to the next room now and this is my filming room this is where you're going to find me 99% of the time in this house the desk was made by Dollar Boy and it cost me about 25k. Um, um I had another carpenter put glass on it later on, but and that was Suleiman. I'm going to leave these details down in the description box. So I have this little section here with this acrylic um container that my sister Ugochi gave me. So I have like my eyebrow pencils and my lip pencils, the ones that I reach for the most, and my lipsticks. I have this little wooden tray here that I used to put all the makeups that I use makeup not makeups that i use whenever i film and you can get something like this from a store in circle mall in jack and i'm going to leave the details the glass was placed by suleiman a carpenter called suleiman and it was put after Dolapo had made the table because I wanted it last minute. So in this section here, I have this storage unit and it has nine drawers. It was made by Dolapo and it cost me 50k, like it was really expensive. And then the first drawer here, I put all my stationery and stuff, but you guys can see soap, so please ignore that. <laughs> And then in the second drawer, I put like all my filming things like my camera, my lenses, my earphones, my wires and all of that, you know. And in the third drawer, I have like, this is like a hair like drawer. I have my blow dryer, my straightener, my curling one, some pins, some gels, you know. And then in this drawer here, I have like my tapes, the tapes that I use for my knees, some perfumes, my glasses and my contact lenses. This is the th these are the things that I put in this drawer. And then I'm going to close it now. I don't know why it's open for so long. And then I have my eyeshadow palette here. And it's like, this drawer is like on the same level with my filming table for easy access. This is also like a hair care drawer as well with some body care stuff in here as well. So in this section up here, I have all the hair care products that I reach for on the regular, like my leave-in conditioner, my scalp oil, and my wig head. And you guys can pip some lipsticks at the back, you know? So onto the other drawers. And then this is the table that I film with. So this first drawer had like my essentials, my wipes, and then, you know, the things that I reach for regularly. But then this drawer is where I put my powders and my eyeshadows and my pigments, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, blushes and then i got the drawer dividers from agos they were like two pounds a pack i didn't get enough this one looks slightly wonky because i always go into this drawer but then i didn't get enough and by the time i realized that i couldn't get more so you know i just didn't have enough this one here this drawer here is where i put my falsies and on the last drawer or in the last drawer i have my foundations and my powders and my primers i got these drawer dividers from conga.com like luckily a pack sold for 1k but these are very very big they're a lot larger than the ones i showed you guys previously and they can fit into really small drawers so so you guys know yeah i got them from conga.com and then this here is the same wardrobe that i have in the other bedroom i try to cover it with white contact paper as well and then it's just storage i use this one for storage and i just put you know random stuff in there 
this is a desk this is a desk that i normally use to take my pictures for the blog it has like wheels i told like the carpenter that made this to put wheels and it was made by a carpenter called suleiman so it's mostly storage i put like my physio equipment in here with props props that i use to take um pictures for blog posts those are the things that i have in here so on top of this table i'm going to close it in a minute but on top of this table i have a printer which is like really cheap this printer sells for like 5k on a normal day because because of the recession it's selling for about 10k now and then i have this pin board here this um board yeah i got this from an office store in mega plaza it was about 4k it wasn't white initially it was actually black but i spray painted it white because i wanted it to be white on this wall so i just pinned like my schedule and everything on there i have these two shelves on this wall here they were made by Suleiman as well and they cost me 3k per shelf and then these ones were made by paul i'm going to don't worry i'm going to leave all these things like in detail in the description box but these ones were made by paul and they were around the same price as well i got this plant from like a landscaping person just by my house and the plant itself was about 2k the vase the, that it comes in or the pot that it's in is about 3k so it was not expensive the whole thing cost me about 5k so this is the area where I edit my videos. My old MacBook got bad, so I bought this with a student discount while I was in school. I didn't pay full price for it. And then I have this table here that you guys see when I film, and it was made by a welder actually. You just put tinted glass on it and spray painted it gold, you know? And it was cheap, like about 5K. On this wall here, I have these two cute frames, and the first one says, you're capable of great things. And that's basically it. I'm going to give you guys like a full shot of the entire room now. So this is everything. I didn't mention this initially, but most of the frames and vases that I showed you guys, I actually repainted them once myself. So the vases are mostly from Ikea. I used to, I bought these things from Ikea. I used to use them as props when I was in school to take block pictures. So this is everything. I bought everything here that I've shown you guys with my money. So if you're on a budget, you can actually use carpenters to get stuff that really looks nice, like on the budget. It's possible. I did it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.